In this video, I want to explain quickly the difference between the wet bulb temperature that you'd measure with a sling psychrometer or something like this and the adiabatic saturation temp that we just figured out. And in the last video, we, we got this equation for getting the absolute humidity ratio for an in, a state coming into our adiabatic saturation temp experiment. And just to remind you, I'm, I'm going to use the subscript G for vapor and F for liquid. And this is the latent heat of vaporization at a given temperature. And what I want to do is rearrange this equation a little bit. And I want to move this portion to one side and then the humidity portion to another. So imagine in your head that I took these two things, multiplied it by omega 1, subtract that, and then I subtracted this by switching the sign. So if I do that, I would get, remember I move this over to this side really, T1 minus T2, and I'll put the omega 2, lambda 2, and I have a minus omega 1 times that bottom term here, enthalpy of the vapor at state 2, enthalpy of the liquid coming in. So we have this now. Well, actually, I made a mistake here. This is state one, and this was state two. That's what we derived. And honestly, this could actually be at a third temperature if you would really want to do that type of analysis. But what's really happening here is this is the sensible drop in temp, sensible energy or sensible heat loss in the air, and this is the term due to evaporation. And these things come out equaling each other. So now let's go to the case where we have our wet bulb temperature measurement, where they call it wet bulb because we take a thermometer and we put a wick around it. And this wick is wet and is saturated. And then we blow air over it. So I'm going to say that this air at a distance away from this thermometer is T infinity. And if you're very, very close, we're at the temperature of the wick, or the, I guess we'll call that the wet bulb temperature, because this bulb here is wet. And everything close to this is saturated. And what's happening here is you have a balance between this, is, this air is warmer, this T infinity is greater than the wet bulb temperature, and you have this convective heat transfer which is warming the water. But then you also have evaporation happening at the same time, which is going to cool it down. And eventually you're going to reach an equilibrium. And so if you do this uh, per unit area, I'm going to do this per unit area, and I'm going to say that let's use we have some convection coefficient, and that's going to be multiplied. This is the heat heat gain has to equal the heat loss, and now this term's a little more complicated. And so I'm going to do something that's a little bit hand wavy. What I'm going to say is that we have the same sort of evaporation term where you're, you're related to this, this driving potential. And you have some, I'm going to call it latent heat of vaporization prime, or lambda prime, which is going to be very closely related to these differences in enthalpy. And because this is happening at a rapid pace, what we actually need to consider is a K value. And that K is considered the convective mass transfer coefficient. 
Okay, so this is a it's a coefficient that lets you know how fast you can evaporate, how fast can these water molecules diffuse um, in the convective sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this k to the other side of the equation. So h convective over k. This is mass. This is a mass transfer coefficient. T infinity minus T of the wick, or T wet bulb, is equal to. And what I'm going to what I'm going to propose, hand wavy, is that this here term is equivalent to this term over here. So we'll just write that the way we had it shorthand here, essentially equivalent. I know that's hand wavy, but what that allows us to do now is say we can equate these two equations. We have this here from our original uh, adiabatic saturation experiment, and we have this from our wet bulb. Erase that. And we can equate this here, h convective over k times that temperature difference with this here. So if I do that, I'll get, scroll down, Cp T1 minus T2 has to equal, let me use a different color, And now, what you can you can say these two things are analogous. Where this T infinity was our entering temperature or our non-saturated temperature. This was not saturated, and this T two was saturated. This was at the end of our tunnel, and here this is saturated. So, if I need these two equations to equal, and these temperature differences are the same. What I would need for this to happen, if, if this was going to happen, and I'm not saying it does happen, this would have, these coefficients here have to match. And to make that more clear, let me actually bring um, this CP to this side. So the, if I have, oh, let me draw that in red. To equal, let me change my colors. So these things will be equal if this ratio here is approximately one, where the convection coefficient over this mass transfer coefficient times the specific heat of the air is approximately one. And we have a name for this thing here. This is called the psychrometric ratio. And it just so happens that for water and air in this kind of setup that this is close to being true. And so this is why we can, in principle, just take this wet bulb temperature and equate it to what that adiabatic saturation temperature was. And for our HVAC purposes, because we're typically not even dealing with accuracy, we're, we're on the order of one degree Fahrenheit, this small difference is not of dire importance to us in most everyday calculations. But it's useful to, to go through and actually see why these things are closely related. And they're closely related in part because this psychrometric ratio ends up being a, a good fit, I guess, for our case. We wanted it to be unity, and it happens to be that. So I hope that clears up some confusion uh, why you can... It is somewhat hand wavy, but you can equate the wet bulb temperature to that adiabatic saturation temperature. So I hope you've enjoyed that and join me in the next videos.